The word data means many different things to people. Some perceive it as a test or quiz, while others look at it as something collected either before or after learning has occurred. In this module, we are going to be thinking of data as something that is continual, a process and a tool that you are able to use to help guide students through their learning. Think of this tool as ongoing, an information that can be used to push students forward towards their learning goals. There are many different digital tools that you can use to collect and monitor student learning. In this module, we are going to explore how to use formative to help change instruction. There are many ways in which students are able to show their thinking and learning. Formative takes learning way beyond short answers or multiple choice. With formative, you can collect data from students through drawings, images, and written passages. As we know, continually checking on how students are doing in their progress towards their learning goals, we are able to provide needed support or enrichment. By seeing live results, you will be able to work with students, hold a discussion, or work collaboratively and still be able to answer student questions or provide feedback to students who need a little extra help. By having the live feedback tool, you are able to take immediate action to help students in need and always pose thought-provoking questions that push students to think a little bit deeper. Okay, are you ready to experience formative for yourself? If so, open a new window in the browser that you have currently open and type in goformative.com. When you are ready, come back to this video so that you can continue to learn how formative is able to support your instructional decisions. Begin by logging into Formative by using your Google ID. Once you've logged in, select the Dashboard tool in the top right-hand corner. Once on the dashboard, you are able to create a new assessment. By selecting the New Assessment button, you are creating an assessment that will help you better understand what your students know. Take a minute to pause this video to create your new assessment or assignment. When you are ready and want to resume the module, select play to learn about how to enter the details of your question. Now that you're back, go ahead and select what you would like to title your question, as well as decide on what type of question you would like. As you can see, you can choose from multiple choice, show your work, short answer, or true false. In this case, I'm going to select a show your work question. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to enter the question that I would like to have my students answer. Once I have typed my question and I'd like to assign this to students, I simply click the assign button. As you can see, I can assign this to certain classes that I have created. By doing this, I'm able to then provide students with feedback, but today I just want to assign this to everyone. So, by assigning this to everyone, I'm able to hand out the, uh, or assign the formative question by using a quick code, a link, or posting to my Google Classroom that I've created. Today, I'm going to use the quick code. Take a minute to pause this video to add the details to the rest of your question. Be sure to build a question that when given to the students provides you with the results that will help you determine where the students should go next. When you are ready to move on and learn about live results, select the play button to continue. Once you have assigned the question to students, you are able to see the live results by selecting live results. As students answer the question, you will see it populate in the bottom of the screen. As you can see, two students have already responded. They responded using typing as well as drawing, so they are able to not only explain by expressing their answers constructively, but then they are able to go back and highlight or circle so that I can have a clear understanding of what they're thinking. So to sum up what we just discussed, in order to use formative to collect data, you need to first create an assignment, assign to students, receive your live results, and then you're able to provide instantaneous feedback. In closing, teachers and students gain valuable knowledge about learning when they are able to use the data to make decisions. Formative allows for immediate live results of student thinking, which provides specific information about how well a student is performing, making data analysis easy and ready to use immediately.
When you are ready, administer the assessment that you created to students and then view the live results. As you are looking at those results, think, how does this information help guide me in my next steps for instruction?